and welcome to another edition of Video Lecture, where I teach a lesson from the comfort of my living room. Um, in order to do this assignment, you are going to need the grammar packet, the one with the colon, semicolon, and ellipses on it. Attached to that is some independent practice. So you will be doing this independently, which means by yourself, using your own brain, your own notes, and your you know, your logic and your notes to fill that out. So um, let's begin with the lecture. Uh, the first thing we're going to be talking about is colons. Um, now, here's what colons do. They introduce a list, like this is what I want on my pizza, pepperoni, extra cheese, jalapenos, and mushrooms. Now, you don't have to copy this exactly the way I wrote it, this is what I like. You can put what you like on pizza. If you don't like mushrooms, don't write mushrooms. If you like pineapple, pineapple. Um, just to get you, it, the list doesn't matter. All it does is show you, it introduces the reader to the fact that a list is coming. Lists are traditionally kind of boring um, to read, but when you have a semi, when you have this sort of colon, it, it, it makes it a little sleeker. It, it uh, by letting your reader know a list is coming, they can focus in on what's going on and sort of separate that idea from this is what I want on my pizza. And then it knows that it, they can, it helps them compartmentalize. Cause you have to remember, you kind of have to help your, your reader out to really get to what you're saying. This is, colons are just great for, for this communication because we, we list things so much of the time. Um, here's my tip. Do not use a colon if you have less than three list items. It's just not necessary when you only have two or you know, one. One would be kind of a fun thing to do. You're just like really putting emphasis on something that should be a list, but it's like all encompassing. So anyway, let's, let's, that's a little more sophisticated practice. So let's move on to semicolons. And what a semicolon's job is, it joins two complete sentences to show that the two ideas are in some way connected. For example, Mercutio's murderer lay bleeding in the street. Tybalt was dead. Now, it, these are two complete sentences. They can stand on their own. A period could also go anywhere a semicolon could go. And in fact, without the semicolon, without any sort of punctuation, it's a run-on sentence. So you really, it, it's just a really punchy way to connect two ideas um, that, that's more conjunctive, that's more together than a period. Um, and a comma wouldn't work here. A comma, this would be a comma splice. Comma, remember, joins two dependent clauses or an independent clause and a dependent clause. Um, but I, I really think the semicolon is fancy. I think it's a neat trick um, and it really helps your reader connect two ideas. The next thing we're going to be talking about is an ellipses. Now ellipses do, in my opinion, they have too many jobs, but we're going to talk about three of the most common uses of the ellipses. The first one is to show that time is passing. Um, like the years went on and we grew up. Obviously there's like a lot of time in between there. So it's just sort of showing that time has marched on. Um, number two is the semicolon sort of indicates that there is more, but it's going to go unsaid. For example, President Obama saved a plummeting economy, won a Nobel Peace Prize, was Time Magazine's Person of the Year, it goes on and on. Those ellipses indicate that there is more things that President Obama accomplished in his time in office, but we're just not going to sit here and list them all. Um, the third thing it does is it indicates that words have been left out of a quote, like you're skipping over some 
part of the quote because when you have quotation marks, you're supposed to be saying this is exactly what was said, but dot, 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 lets you skip over some stuff. Like, for example, my dad always told stories. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. Then there was peace in the land. So that's it. That is your three little tricks. Um, ellipses obviously do a lot more than that. I mean, it's not obvious, but that, those are the three things that are considered grammatically correct. Grammar is kind of funny. It, if enough people make the mistake over time, then that just becomes the way we do things. Um, it used to only mean that you were passing over text because grammar does need to be precise when you expect a, a, um, a punctuation mark to do too many jobs. It's, it's whole purpose, it's whole meaning, it's really convoluted. So here's what I want you to do. Typically where you would put your summary, I would like you to put some practice. You're gonna practice using these, just want, like, Try it. Do your best. Um, you're gonna write one. You're gonna write three sentences total. One sentence with semicolon, one with a colon, and then one with an ellipsis. Now remember, you can pro you can pause um, again if you need anything. Please contact me on Remind or send me an email. Okay. You guys have a great day. Be good for the sub. I want good reports. Okay. Have a nice, nice. Lovely day.